Welcome to Thursday. It's the free to play account we're going to bring you today. And sadly, we're going to give you a little bit of an update first, but we're not running George. George? No, wrong week. We're not running Lando Norris. We'll get there in the end. Only because I was just looking at level 7 George. So level 5 Lando, not good enough just yet for ourselves. So we're going to rock our two best epics, Fernando Alonso and Charles Leclerc. This is the car we are running as well. 120 speed, 147 cornering to see what that gives us. We'll give it a go. We're not, I mean, we, we had a thought about going to contender, but with the Mercedes team event coming up, I'm going to choose that that's probably when we will go to the Merck event. So let's get it in. Let's get it on. Let's go with race one and see what sort of points we can get at Brazil. Here we go then, Brazil race one. Let's get the party underway. And let's see what we can do. How many points can we get? Last time you've seen this account in results, we were about 38 points off the top 10. And without Lando Norris, we're going to struggle. And as you can see, P20, P22 is what we are running. Now, Alonso's got very nice indeed race start that's going to help we're going to rock a prince we're going to rock a kawaii don't usually like to use boosts but i want to give it a go just to see what points we can get i probably won't run any boosts in opening round but qualifying i sometimes like to see what sort of points i am in for and we've got a real player by the look of it, going for a hards and softs. Fernando Alonso expecting a good start. It goes down as a perfect one. And hopefully he can now fly through the middle on this Kawhi. He can, and he's up to P14. That's a brilliant start. And I tell you what, Charles Leclerc not far behind either. We're going to cut him back to see if he can just save some tyre. Because if we can get him five laps, we will. I sadly don't think we will be able to. I think we're going to be a bit short as Alonso puts the brakes on. Leclerc P13. Tell you what, he's not a million miles away on the old tyres. If we conserve a little bit, we might be able to just sneak out a fifth lap. And he's made a move as well, Leclerc, up to P12. Alonso's lost one, though. Which is annoying. Leclerc loses a spot as we are trying to conserve. Alonso now looking at the back of Russell and takes him and takes Stroll. Using all that power unit. Don't really want to use it too much. But wow, where, where are we going there? Leclerc into the utter unknowns. And 60%. Oh, it's going to be very close if we can manage this. Ira, do you do it? Do we try? I'm going to try and go for five. This lap's going to tell me a lot. Let's come for softs on Alonso. Here comes Leclerc again on George Russell. We're down to 44. Surely we're not going to be able to do five laps. 42, 41, no chance. So this is going to be a bit of a push lap now for Charles Leclerc. Cars ahead. We're going to come back for the hard. It's our only chance. And he's up to P9. Gets into P8 as well. We're going to push, push, push. It is what Hamilton calls hammer time, and he's up into P7. What about Alonso taking Kevin Magnussen to the cleaners? P16. Charles Leclerc still pushing in P7. So, good strategy here. Could potentially see us climb some places. Leclerc's in. What about Alonso coming down the straight now? Makes a few positions. Back up to P12, but still with a pit stop to go. And look at that, Leclerc coming out. P14. Happy days. Leclerc's right in the mix with this one-stop strategy. He goes past Kevin Magnussen. And maybe, after all, one-stop is key from the back. Let's wait. Let's wait until see until we get to the end, though. We've got Alonso. We're trying to hold that power unit. You can see a few people coming out the pits. Alonso's just going to get ahead of Sainz. Yes, he is. Let's push a little bit. Up to P8. Bit of lag. Just to help our ways. 
trying to get past Stroll. It would have been nice to get past him. And we can, just to give a bit of a sprint to the line. And we are coming in. And I tell you what, Leclerc's got a decent chance of some points here. We'll keep the power on. Down the straight. There's a few pit stoppers. Alonso. And Leclerc is up to P8. I wasn't expecting that for a run. Alonso's back out P10. B on the quicker tyre though. So this is already looking at some good points. Do we have any more to pit? Well, a lot of people on softs. No chance on that one. We, I don't think we're going to get them soft tyres. Still a couple of laps to go though. There's Alonso you can see in the background making hay on Ocon. And he goes up the inside, gets him. And now we are P8 and P9. Decent point on offer. 33 at the moment. We're just going to push Leclerc to try and close the gap. We'll push Alonso through this section as well. Try and cut these down a bit. Because we haven't got tons of tyre with Leclerc. No pitters, which is annoying. We could have done with a nice pit stop by somebody. A bit of a push from Leclerc would be nice. Can we finally get past Carlos Sainz? Yes, we can. What about Leclerc closing all the time? Can't get past at the moment. Now he does. Another couple of points up for grabs. It's P7 and P8. And I think that's how it's going to finish. It is going to finish that way. That's a good race. Very happy with that. Real player for our opponent has only managed P23, P24. So the fact that we're P7 and P8, we'll take that. 35 points here. And we've got to take it. I think one stop was pretty good, actually. Let's see what the rival was running. 1 2 80 team score. And 6 6. So. Slightly better than Alonso, I'd say. And the car, predominantly speed. Got to go cornering, folks. I've told you enough times. But that is 30, a good 30 summit points. 35 points, was it, in the end. Here we go then, race number two. And after some decent points then for our first race in Brazil, we're definitely going to try the one stop next time around if it is a dry race. And we're going to see what we can do. But race two... Not a bad part. See what we can get. We're going to run the two stops as normal. We're going to run it that way round. And I don't mind wasting a bit of boost sometimes. It's all good fun. It's always there for. And let's see if we can get off to the perfect start. Let's push, push, push. That's what we like to do. And it's a perfect start for Alonso. Not a bad start for Leclerc. Where does he get to? We're going to keep pushing. And it's P19, P20. Not great. Come on. Come on. P19. P18 now. P15. Come on, we need some points. This is not the we could have done with a better start. Definitely. Here's a well, here's three. Oh, I thought we were gonna get past about three cars then. But sadly not. P13. What about Ocon? I fancy us against Ocon here. I fancy us very nicely. We've got him. And now we're into P12. Can we get K-Mag nice and easy to not hold us back? I think we can. P11. Job done here. Any more? For any more. Fancy a run at Alonso, don't we, there? Be on the hard tyre of the rival. Here's Stroll in that Aston Martin. A bit like their season, going backwards after such a good start. Uh, Leclerc's put the brakes on. Cheers for that, Leclerc. We need some... Rain, even though it's 0%. We need a bit of luck here in running. Because this isn't uh, this isn't easy for us here. I'm going to keep Leclerc boosting through this part. And he's lost a spot. Look at the chaos of traffic around here. 
we do get that Aston Martin. Can we get the Rival on the hard? Yes, we can. Can we get the Williams? No, we can't. I wonder if it's a bit of that overtake, that rooster boost, no corner in. Wow, we're going backwards. Really are struggling. Leclerc just can't get out of this traffic. And we're going to come in and get some softs on. Because that is painful. But Alonso's into P15. Trying to get past Sargent now. The legend here of what he is. And now, surely... No, we still can't overtake. Now we can get him. Can we get these couple of cars? No, we can't. Surely Bottas wide line there. No, oh, we can't get them. Come on. Feel the burn. We're stuck behind this hard tyre. Now we can finally get some breathing space. Thank the Lord we're into P13. Leclerc. What is going on with Leclerc? Only P23 is going to make up a number of positions now, but he's still not had a great start at all to the life. And look at Alonso. Alonso coming out of tons of traffic. It is not his night. Come back for softs on Leclerc. Having a fast end to this race predicted. I hope Alonso has a fast end because... He is a man who's struggling. Maybe it's our car. Maybe it's like a red ball like it was at Singapore. And come on. Alonso down the straight. Got to get some power unit back so we can attack. Attacking is key. There's a couple coming out of the pits. We can get ahead. It's going to push a little bit. And we're losing spots again. Going backwards. And that's Kawhi as well. We've got no power unit at all. So our best chance is Charles Leclerc to grab some points for us. We need people to pit. It's not going to come, I don't think. This has been what I would class as a very... Difficult race. Still, look, we're stuck behind. Stuck behind for fun. P15, that's all we can manage. Now manage to get 15th and 16th. Back to reality then after Brazil. Kawhi or Rooster not working well at all. Leclerc's going to come home, take P14. With Alonso taking P16. There's another spot. Ocon broken down. We'll take it. An extra two points. P13 for Leclerc. P15 for Alonso. And we have to take the 22 points that were on offer to us. And let's have a look at that matchup. Slightly outmatched in this race. Very difficult. Very difficult track. Look at that. Big driver better for them. Um, Bottas and Russell, and the car pretty much the same as ours. So we'll take it. We'll take 22 points. Race number three, Italy and Imola. The track that caught me out on the main account. Rain. Inbound this time, though. And will it be? Will it be our lucky day? It's going to be a tricky one. 19th, 21st, wet race as well. Maybe wet to dry is going to be in our favour. We're going to use Prince. We're going to use Kawhi again. How long will this rain last? Let's find out. 1 minute 19, and that means sun, which is very quick. Dry out, maybe one, one and a half laps. Not even that, probably just a bit more. Between one and two laps, it can turn dry. And... We've got a decent start, or thought we had a decent start. Slip back a little bit. Alonso P17, hoping to use his race start. And he's got a couple more positions, P15, P19. So we've got to wait now for this wet weather to come out. And we've got to hope that everyone struggles whilst we go for the dry tyres. Them dry tyres probably... We'll have to mean we're doing a two-stop as Alonso gets by into P14. 
and we're right on the limit of four laps. By the end of this lap, it will be drying out. Can we keep hold of P14? We can. Leclerc's going backwards. That's because the rival is pushing from P17. 20 seconds. So this is definitely going to run to four laps, which is not good for us because hard tyres just will not support us very well because we will be slow. But it might be what we need. It's going to start drying out very quickly. Got a bit of that tyre management back as well. And we're keeping tabs with the rest of the field. And you can see how quick it starts to dry. Maybe we can do one more lap here. 82. I think definitely one more. That's going to mean everybody's going to be pitting. And 34 degrees. I don't think these hard tyres are going to last for us. I really don't. I'm going to have to go hard, so I reckon. And just see if we can hold on. I think we've got to. I think we've got no choice. As uh, Alonso flies through. Probably used up a bit too much tyre there. But we're just going to get round, I think. And yes, we are going to get round. Everybody now pits. Will everybody go to... Yes, they will go to hards. The whole field going to the hard tyres. And Alonso going out P10. Leclerc, as he does best, at the back. So we'll run a little bit. See if we can get past Gasly. We can. Let's cut that down. Let's get Leclerc through. Because we don't know how tight we're going to be on tyres here. Leclerc is in P19. Hopefully the boost will help us a little bit. Fingers crossed. But P9 at the moment. And we're right on the limit, as you can see, of four laps. That's the problem when you've got 68 and 67 tyre management. It is killer. But we're managing. Well, managing with uh, Fernando Alonso in ninth place. We can't really push Leclerc too much. And he's, he's losing ground a little bit. He's got full power unit. We're hoping to close with Alonso. Just seem, can't seem to close the gap to 8th and 7th. No surprise there. We're not pushing. So we're gonna kind of going to have to let this one ride. And we're on 22 points. We've got to hope for some breakdowns. There's a pit stop from Hulkenberg. Who, well, a couple of them went for the hard, soft tyres. So that tells you, perfect strategy, of course. Rest of them on hard, absolutely. So now it's going to be more tricky. We've got the rival pushing behind us. But we're not just going to, we're not going to get four laps at all if we push. Where the rival somehow looks like he's got enough tyre. Down the straight we go. We are closing on. Let's push a little bit. Rival's got less than 25%. So we'll wait until the end. Now we'll push. And look at that. Alonso now taking stroll. And now we've we've saved everything for a last lap push. Leclerc's up two positions. Alonso all over the back of Charles Leclerc. Can't get the job done. We're going to push this right up until the last bit. Leclerc's through. Alonso's through as well. Some great last ditch overtaking to squeak out a few more points. Closing in on... Alonso, we're not going to get him. Sadly not, but it is P7, it is P15. We thought we were going to settle for 22 points. We settled for 28. And that is the last that we will see of this difficult Imola track this week. I'm sure a lot of you will be grateful for that. Race done, race number three. We'll be back to Brazil next. And you can see... Definitely softs weren't the right play. We tackled a similar rival with just more power, but definitely corner beats power. Let's go then. Last race of this a little bit difficult qualifying session. Our best points come in the first race, and that race was dry. 
It is dry at the moment in qualifying, but what will it be in the race? Good qualifying here. Look at that. Charles Leclerc up to P18. We're getting excited about P18 qualifying. How the times have changed. And we're going to go do the 4-5. I'm actually going to do a 5-4 as well. Let's, let's mix it up a little bit. Uh, we'll use the same sort of boosts. And actually, I want to use hards on, well, prints on that one. Kawhi on that one. Don't need to do two stops, but Kawhi, just a very good boost. Cornering, race start. So Leclerc and Alonso. Good starts needed. And Alonso gets that perfect start. Everyone jumps to the left. I'm sure there's a song in there. And that is a perfect start by Charles Leclerc. He's up already into P10. It's a good start from Fernando Alonso too. He's into P14. Expect Fernando Alonso to start going backwards though when he lets off the boost power because he's on the hard tyre. But at the moment, he's going out around the outside and we manage to scrape in to P9, P12. Will that get any better up the hill? Oh, nearly, nearly P11 now. So this is where Alonso's going to start going backwards. Leclerc makes a move forward and tell you what, Alonso goes forward as well. It's P8 and P10. And this is a very good start. We'll be going to the hard tyres on Leclerc. We'll be going to the medium tyres on Alonso. We've just got to build now that power unit back up and then smash them at the end. Leclerc all over the back of Perez. Perez on the hards. Let's try and make a move because he'll slow us up a little bit and we're through. What about ahead of him? It's always about checking what tyres people are on. And we've got a safety car. Safety car for Alex Albon. So what do we do here? Do we go for a hard stint? So we're going to go around on that four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we potentially do hold it out for Leclerc. And we've been pretty good on that hard tyre, actually, with Alonso. We're quite split out. So let's take the risk. We're going to conserve heavy. And at the end of the day, if this doesn't work, everyone else has still got a pit anyway. And this safety car moves fast. Very fast. You can see already we are 23 seconds behind. Safety car never slows down in Brazil. Not as much as we would like. 24 seconds, you can see we're losing time. I wish it would hold them up a little bit more so we can get our boots racing. 22, 22, 21, it's still not great, but we're going to be getting back underway with some pit stops. And i tell you what, I didn't look at the rain, did I? I didn't look that it was going to rain. Maybe I've missed a trick. I've missed a trick here. I know a lot of you at home be screaming, Aaron, pit for wets, pit for wets. Wow. I didn't even look. I should have. I didn't realise it was changing conditions that quickly. So back in will come. And man, we could have we could have been. I mean, to be honest, we couldn't have done that many laps anyway. As in we come with Leclerc. Alonso up the home straight in as well. Quicker pit stop because we don't need as much service in. I don't think it's only three to five. So if we'd have done a lap earlier pit stop, if we did a pit stop for wet, I don't think we'd have managed to the end. Generally don't feel we would have. But anyway, we're back out in P8 for Leclerc. All over the back of Lance Stroll, but it's going to get done by Sonoda. Our car not liking this wet weather at the moment. And down. On to lap number seven, we will go. Need some pit stops. We're going to get a few of them. Leclerc P8, right behind Sonoda. That Ferrari looking like it's on the dry tyres still. Fernando Alonso here as well. It's good moves by Leclerc into P6. Alonso P11. This is the bit of luck that we needed. 33 points. Couple of laps to go. Pit stop still to happen. It is almost perfect. This is going too well at the minute. 
Might be as Perez probably gets past us now. Called it. There he goes. Perez is through. But P5, P10. Still got the most, most well, 35 points now we're up to. Saving ourselves for a last lap attack on any more positions. Let's see what we can do. P8. Well, lap 8. And at this point, we do take a phone call. So I'm a little bit distracted, as I'll mention in a moment. But we're sitting good in P5 and P10. Bit of power unit, and that's because I forgot to push, being totally distracted on lap number 9. And then we start to push now. P5, P9. Can we make any more opportunities? P4 it is for Charles Leclerc. Can we get P8 maybe for Alonso? Yes, we can. And Leclerc gets P3. So P3 for Charles Leclerc, 22 points. Alonso, P7, well, P8, 17 points. That is 39 points in Brazil. What a race. What big points on offer. So during that part, I did have to take a phone call. So coming back into the game now, we could have probably pushed earlier, but... I wasn't really paying attention, but 39 points is what we take. And it is 1374 team score versus 1346. Bit of a crazy race in the end. And we were level 4s versus level 7 rares. And car pretty similar. Not far off what we were running. So let's see. Where does that put us in this round? Qualifying Q2 completed. 124 points is what we finish on for the free to play. We'll take that all day. Two tricky races in the middle. Hopefully Brazil this weekend will spur us on for them big points.